58. I can't find it. Rosinski's only hit one big treble in this leg so far. One hundred and thirty-two. That's his best visit of this match so far. Double top for the wizard. Fifty-eight. Who appears to be using Josh Payne's flight for reasons unknown to me. Double sixteen. Good guide. Game shot. And he finds the bottom corner. Christoph Ratajski breaks the Wizards' throw in the opening leg, but it took him 21 darts so to do. One hundred and one. One hundred and thirty four. One hundred and eighty. Well, Christoph Ratajski just warming to the task. It's only the third time he's come up against Simon 134. Whitlock. And he lost the previous two. However, those meetings, the most recent was two and a half years ago. Their first meeting was in 2017. That was before Christoph got his tour card. That's when he was turning up, playing on the European tour. They had an Eastern European qualifier, and Rotaisky was just winning 83. every single one of them. He won every one bar one. Turning up, looking really dangerous on the Euro Tour, kept running into Peter Wright and losing to him narrowly. 42. But he was looking dangerous. He went on to become the world master, of course, and then made the move to the PDC, and he's been brilliant. He's won a whole host of titles. 98. Ratajski's not going to go treble 20 here, unlike Whitlock in the first leg. But he will look at 20 in tops. 38. And that one's too high, and it allows the wizard back, chance to break back immediately and level the game up. 48. Next door for double eight. 44. Two misses. Game shot. That'll do. 2 0 to the Polish Eagle. Both men averaging in the low 80s after that ropey opening leg. 58. I can tell you that Michael Van Gerwen is averaging 106 over in the other quarter final on the other streaming board, but it is not enough right now against the mercurial Jose de Salsa. Who's 4 2 up, averaging 103 himself. He just left. Double one after nine darts in his game. 57. Bit of an MVG trick, that one. Gerwin Price and James Wade won a piece. Brendan Dolan and Matt Clark <coughs> just about to get going. 140. 58. Back to back turn 40s, Ratajski. He's going to produce another one. Might even be better. 180. It is better. And Ratajski, his performance levels have dipped and dipped and dipped in consecutive games over the course hey, of today. But is he getting his act together as we approach the crunch? The back end of the Pro Tour. Whitlock can do nothing, you just see resignation on his face in this leg. Game shot. He loses it, 41 checked out. It's a 12 dart leg from Christoph Ratajski. The Polish Eagle flown into a 3-0 lead. Fifty-eight. Steve Beaton saw his eight-year consecutive run at the World Grand Prix 
43. Brought to an end. It's been confirmed this afternoon. He needed a run here today. Couldn't produce one. Simon Whitlock has been there for the last decade. And if he loses this game, he won't be there this year. 139. One hundred. Fifty eight. Can't find the trouble, Simon Whitlock. The scoring just isn't there. He's not even averaging 80 at the moment. And even an average Christoph Ratajski is not even going to be phased. It's like trying to take down a rhino with a pea shooter, throwing 80 averages against Christoph Ratajski. Another 16. Leaves the double. 32. And he's under absolutely no pressure whatsoever. For the second leg running, Ratajski's already had a dart at double, and Whitlock is way back in the 200s. And look at that. 44. Even the gritty, determined Simon Whitlock. He's just at a loss at what to do here. Just Game can't shot. get things going. And it is 4-0, and this is turning into an absolute rout of the Australian number one. He's had a decent week. Oh, what's he not happy with? He doesn't like the lights. Well, I mean, has he played on the streaming boards this week? Pretty sure he has. He beat Glenn, he beat Glenn Durant earlier on the other streaming board, and it's exactly the same setup, but... 58. See, these little things will always exasperate darts players when they're losing, you pick up on them. When you're averaging 102 and 4-1 up, 60. any minor annoyances, whether it be, oh, I don't like the, the camera or the lights or the heat, they ignore those. 100. But when the Polish Eagle is ironing you out 4-0, that's when they really start to annoy you. That's what happens. Same with injuries. You notice darts players play through, or any sportsman, play through all kinds of injuries. And when they're winning, it's going well. They start hurting 60. more when they're losing. That's just natural psychology. Might fire him up here. 100. He's absolutely wellying those darts into the board, Simon Whitlock. Even harder than normal, I think. 58. Ninety-nine. Hey, he's not doing bad for a bloke who can't see anything, is he? Ninety-seven. One hundred. Well, leaves himself forty-four to. Get a first leg on the board and start the comeback. He did come back from 4-0 down to beat Glenn Durant earlier. I know he needed some help in Glenn missing a whole load of darts. 137. I can confirm that the world number one, mighty Michael Van Gerwen, will not 36. win the title today because José de Sousa has beaten him. A 6-3 victory for the Portuguese man of scores against mighty Mike. Ratajski looking to make this 5-0. It's the bull he wants. Game and shot. the bull he hits. And that will not improve the wizard's mood. It's a breaker throw as well. Oh, the specs are coming off. The specs are coming off. Well, he couldn't see before, apparently. He'll be able to see even less. So this is what we call... To the Whitlock has, has flicked a switch and gone into Ryan Searle mode. He doesn't know where the darts Forty are five. going. If it weren't for COVID restrictions, our marker Owen Binks would just take him by the hand and gently guide him to the board to retrieve his darts. But Oh, the specs have gone back on. 
129. Well, Ratajski inching closer to a 6 0 whitewash. His first victory of any kind against Simon Whitlock. He'd lost the previous two. But over the last couple of years, Ratajski has been soaring up the world rankings. He's into the top 16. Simon Whitlock is in a battle to maintain his position. 99. In the top end of world darts. And missing out on the World Grand Prix is going to make it even harder for him. And it Six. looks like that will be confirmed in the next few minutes. Because if Ritaisky can win this leg and complete the 6-0 win, then the Wizard will not be going to the World Grand Prix. Double top. 40. Is just a little high. But he will come back with more match darts. 128. Leaves himself 26, Simon. Whitlock, don't know whether that's apathy or he just likes double 13. Game shot. But and it does not Christoph matter. Rataisky. It is academic. Christoph Ratajski gets the job done. It is 6-0 to the Polish Eagle. The Wizards not letting it go. He's had a decent autumn series. He's played some good stuff, but not good enough to force his way into the reckoning for the Rico Arena and the World Grand Prix. The Polish Eagle is forcing himself into the reckoning for the title, though and Players' Championship 18 on the final day of the Autumn Series. Can you turn 80 like Mighty Mike? Keep it cool like the Iceman. Double out like Snake Pie. If you love darts, then double down by betting on your favourite competitors. Download the PDC Picks app today. It's easy to play, just pick to win. Select a contest, play head-to-head matchups, most 180s and more. Follow the match live and compete